police on a chase that left a passenger in his car dead. Chris Nakamoto with the troubling trend that has been exposed by the investigative unit now for years. Michael, it has happened again. A suspected career criminal out on bond caught committing more crimes. Tonight, a passenger in his car is dead after the driver with an extensive criminal history fled from police. Mangled metal and car fragments are all that's left after Darian Bailey refused to stop for police and slammed into a car on Winborn Monday afternoon. A passenger inside the car Bailey was driving died. Years ago, Chief Murphy Paul talked about the problem his department was having with the revolving door with the justice system. We dealt with him before. The same individuals. That is what I hear from my officers. We arrest them. And then we have to deal with them again. His wife and daughter ran out of the home, barely escaping the gunshots. After Bailey and two others showed up and killed Marino in what was described as a robbery. This was Marino's aunt at the time of his murder. They're cowards. And all I got to tell them is they need to get up and get them a job. Therefore, they won't have to rob other people. The WBRZ investigative unit uncovered a troubling history with Bailey, now tied to multiple crimes. Court records show Bailey was arrested at the age of 14 for a murder off Wyandotte in 2012. He pled guilty in 2019 to a manslaughter charge. Between his arrest for the murder in 2012 and now, he was also accused in an attempted murder from 2018. He was arrested for that shooting this month and was given a $300,000 bond by Judge Fred Crevassi. Days later, Bailey posted bond and was involved in a chase where he fled from police. It ended with the death of a passenger in his car. Questions are being raised about whether a judge... A year ago, we showed you this trio of troublemakers out free on not one, not two, but three different bonds. At the time, District Attorney Hiller Moore telling us this. Someone's out on multiple bonds and he'll give him a chance and then give him a second chance and now he's again on third set of allegations. Tonight, it appears second and third chances didn't work for Bailey, who was...